Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Charlene Nora here. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. Today's video is gonna be review slash tester for the new Good Apple KBD Beauty foundation. I'm sure you guys know, I'm probably behind on this. This foundation is, it went viral on TikTok. My sister, she told me about it. And she was like, literally, if, if I can just tell you this story, like she calls me and she's like, oh, like, you know, like you need to go get this new foundation that's going viral on TikTok. We want to see what the hype's about. I literally was running around like a chicken with its head cut off in different Ulta's just to find this foundation. And I finally found one, one shade. I was able to get it and I want to see what the hype's about. I'm going to try this out. I have watched a couple of people's YouTube videos and honestly, it looks really great. I'm super excited. So I'm here to review this foundation for you guys. So this is the new Good Apple KBD foundation. This is what it comes in. It looks really basic. <laughs> I know that sounds really bad, but it just looks like a, you know, like a drugstore quick foundation or whatever. But like the way it's so hype, it's like, I would never, ever, ever think that this foundation was like, oh my God, like the best ever. So I decided to get it and give it a try for myself. And I'm going to try it on here. If you guys want to see this review, stay tuned. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe below, subscribe, hit that bell. So you're notified when I post a video, follow me on Instagram, y'all. You will not regret it. I post other contents like TikTok videos and any inspirational videos that you guys are interested in. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Again, we're going to review this KBD Good Apple foundation. So I was able to snag me the shade Tan 78. The shades that were available in Ulta were very, very limited. The shade above and the shade below that was available at Ulta, they were definitely not my shade. Online, they had a wider range of shades. So these come in a total of like 40 shades, but they did not have 40 shades in Ulta from what I saw at least. They actually had like a lot of like darker, darker colors. And then my shade was like the one that like that from above was like everything was completely out. So they're out of stock online. They're out of stock at the stores. So a lot of the ones that are available for like super dark, uh, um, dark shades, dark skin. So if you're like of a darker skin tone, you're lucky, go give you a try. So basically this says this is a skin perfecting foundation balm, which is really interesting. So it says that this is a buildable, full coverage, hydrating foundation balm. It says it's lightweight, long wear formula with a fresh matte finish. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, so I have dry skin, so obviously I'm not really a huge fan of matte foundation, but I did moisturize my face. I'm gonna put enough primer so that the foundation is able to transfer for well and I'm able to still try it out on dry skin so it's infused with apple extract to help nourish the skin minimizes the appearance of pores so clearly it looks like it's good for oily skin gives the skin a smooth healthy look plus it's so it's non-comedogenic which is really good because that means like it's not really gonna clog your pores it's not cakey etc and all that good stuff so it says it's supposed to feel lightweight which is great so I'm really hoping that even though this is like a supposed to give you a matte finish it's still light enough to, for me to apply so we're gonna see what what this hype is about the fact that i had to run around looking for this this better deliver so as you can see it came in this little as you can see it came in this little plate let's just say this little plate it looks very little like as you can see this is the thickness of it so it's not pretty thick it literally looks like a quarter of an inch thick if anything less it is about 0.35 ounces which is very little because foundations come in like one ounce so this is a little bit and this was about plus 40 dollars guys yeah this foundation 38 dollars it cost 38 dollars the tax was 40 dollars that's pretty expensive so i'm about to see if it's worth the money okay so what i'm gonna do is first apply primer so the way they want us to use it to blend and build to your desired coverage using beauty sponge or a dense foundation brush so i think what i'm gonna do is use a beauty sponge that's usually works better for me sorry guys i'm squinting because i cannot see and i don't have my glasses glasses and I just don't feel like getting them. What I'm going to do is use my fingers to apply it on my skin and then I'm going to use the sponge to go above it. So I'm going to start off priming my face. So I am going to use my Tarte Rainforest in the Sea primer because this primer is very liquidy, very hydrating. So since this says it's going to have a matte finish, I'm just going to use something that's super, super light. I'm going to go, I'm going to apply it all over my face this time. Not all over, but like more than what I usually do. And I'm gonna go on my forehead. I don't like applying a lot of primer, guys. You guys know me. I'm just like all about hydration. And sometimes I feel like primer just helps, but also prevents you from achieving that hydration. That's how I just always feel. So now we're gonna dive into the foundation. What I wanna do is take it with my fingers. So I'm gonna 
wipe it on my finger warm it up a little bit pretty pretty liquidy again this is the shade 078 this is what it looks like and i think this should be my shade for sure so i'm just gonna take a little and i'm just gonna do that this is gonna take a long time but it is what it is so i'm just gonna apply it like lotion as you can see this shade is completely perfect for me So this is what I look like. Oh my gosh, guys, I can see the coverage already. I feel like I put too much, but we can just blend it in. So I'm just gonna use my sponge to blend this in. Oh, look at that coverage, guys. Wow, look at that. Okay. Okay, seriously, oh my gosh. I'm not even done and I'm already like blown away right now. This kind of reminds me of the NARS foundation and it's super, super lightweight. Ooh, child, look at this. Look at this, y'all. I know I'm not supposed to say what it's supposed to do until the end, but this is good. And what, what I like about this is the fact that I feel like I don't like applying a lot of foundation, but the fact that I'm adding more is very different for me because I don't do that. Cause I just feel like the more I apply it, the better it looks. Just look at this guys, look at this. Just look, just look at this. but I want you guys to comment below and tell me what you think and tell me if I'm being biased or if I'm just talking just because TikTok said it was good. Just tell me what you think based on what you see. Like this, I'm blown. Like this is great. This is a great foundation. I honestly feel like if I just add some eyebrows and a little bit of concealer, I'll be good. So what we're gonna do is continue the rest of my face. I am going to add some concealer and I'm not gonna put too much concealer because I don't wanna, you know, just ruin the essence of the foundation. I'm just gonna put just enough so you guys can see the result. I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this is in the shade Deep Sand. Hey guys, so I am back with my final look for this foundation review. I just did the rest of my face off camera just to save time. I did simple eyeshadow look as you can see, just threw on some lip gloss. I'll put the information for the products in the description below. I know some people are usually interested, even though I'm doing a foundation review, some people are very interested in just knowing exactly what products I use. So I'll put that, I'll remember to put that in the description below. So far this foundation, I think it's been an hour right now and I think it, it's been really good so far. The only things that I experienced a little bit was like the laugh lines were forming pretty fast. So when I was like trying to take a selfie or something, like you could see them like forming, which is something that you guys know I definitely don't like. But I'm going to do a, I'm gonna stay with this on just a little bit longer and then I'll come back with my final thoughts, final review of this foundation, the KBD foundation. Like I was saying earlier when I was applying it, I was totally in love with it. I think the coverage is amazing, like great, great coverage. It doesn't feel cakey. It's totally lightweight as it said, which to me is a plus because it, it kind of feels like I'm applying like lotion with foundation or something like that. Like it has great coverage, you know, which is awesome. So I really do appreciate that. The, you know, the application is easy. I feel like you can even use your fingers with 
this honestly so i am still gonna come back and see obviously the foundation is best to test it out after a couple of hours i'll be back to review it but it doesn't have a matte finish from what i see but it's really good like for dry skin too like if you do a good moisturizing routine you should be able to achieve wonderful results with this honestly like and i'll probably film this on like my iphone just so you guys can actually get the actual realistic look but i'll be right back with my actual final final thoughts about this foundation hey guys so this is my foundation after four hours of wearing it i am going to be all up close in the camera just so i can be as sure as what i'm seeing so as you can see i am getting smile line right here as you can see which is something that i was dealing with like immediately after like an hour or less so that's one thing that i've noticed about this foundation is definitely like the smile lines are like super intense but honestly if i just like dab it out it, it's fine um now for the finished look for the foundation i would not say that this is matte for my skin to look this dewy i mean just look at it like just ignore the highlight but just look at look at this look at my forehead Look at right here, like it's my skin is pretty glowy, which I really do love because I like my makeup to be dewy. So as you can see, that's what's happening right now, and it looks really good. So I have no idea why they say matte finish because this is not a matte finish. This Charlie never experiences this as before matte. You know, like matte is usually like you know just like matte. I think this is good. I would say that you know this KBB foundation is definitely fire. But other than that, I really am impressed, guys. This is fabulous. That's all I have to say about it. Nothing else. I don't see any creasing except for my smile lines, and that is it. Everything else is like amazing. It's dewy. It has that great coverage. So thank you guys for watching. I'm heading to bed. I've been up editing and I'm exhausted. I shall see you guys in my next video.